Okay, we're here to talk about Kodak video programs and why VHS. Now, why do I want to talk about this? Well, this is a really old tape. I don't even have it with me. But it's a really old tape from, I'd say, the 90s or late 80s, whatever it is. It's an old tape, though. And it gives you, like, a, a small perspective on what Hawaii was like. I was surprised to see that this one went for a full, almost a full hour. The Greece one only went for, like, a half hour. So, um... It was pretty fun, I guess, if you want to learn vacations and stuff, you can get old tapes. You know, it doesn't really matter what tape you get, whether it's from now or before. I mean, uh, some of the major icons and landmarks are probably going to still be there, so you won't have to worry about anything. The only thing that what, what the VCR is, is that um, you got to watch out. Remember, check the film for when, you, when you take it out of the case, make sure there's no mold or anything on it, and... Um, you watch it from there. Now, it's going to be a little distorted sometimes because a lot of these fil older films don't play so well. Although some of them have played better than my newer ones, believe it or not. So, um, Kodak, I guess to start, if you look it up on eBay, there's a whole big lots of VHS tapes and they're not cheap. 35, 40 bucks for a lot of photography tapes and how to for shoot cameras and all that other kind of stuff. Who would pay that much money for Kodak tapes? Especially with no guarantee that they'll play in your VCR. Um, well, there's really not much else to say about this. If you want to look it up, you can look it up. I don't have all of them, nor, nor am I going to collect all of them either. There's no point. But I have Hawaii and Greece so far. i got a ton, a ton of other ones, but those are on trains and stuff. That was interesting. The Japan one was really nice to watch, but this one was not such a pleasure. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.